Welcome back, folks. We got snow in East Texas. It doesn't look like we got snow, because all of it's gone, it's the day after. But we got snow, we lost power, we lost TV, we lost internet for about 18 hours. And let me tell you, those were some dark times for us. But I finally got to use my brand new generator. I got to run it on the house for several hours. I run a couple of, tank of tanks of gas through it. Uh, we run some space heaters and we played in the snow a lot. Um, I'll show you some pictures of that. Here it is the day after, all the snow is gone. That's the thing with Texas. Uh, it snows, we get a good snow once about every 25 years. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing at least one more snow in my lifetime. But anyway, back to the generator. Uh, so I thought, well, let's just put the oscilloscope on the Westinghouse generator, see what it looks like when we put some resistive load on it. So I'm gonna go start the generator. We'll take it in the house and see what's going on inside there. I already warmed the generator up before y'all got here. So all we gotta do is crank it up and get started. Two things I'm going to look at today are the waveform on the scope and the electrical load distribution on the generator. Uh, with very little load, the waveform is not very smooth, but it will get better as I add more electrical load to the generator. That's what I'm doing on the bottom right hand side. Uh, plugging in a couple of heaters, run a microwave, make a cup of coffee. Uh, this generator makes 8,500 watts and 240 volts by adding 220 volt legs together that are perfectly synced and 180 degrees out of phase. Each leg is capable of one half of the max generator output, in this case 4200 watts continuous. Uh, the generator cannot produce all 8500 watts on one leg. If you tried it, it would either trip the breaker or burn the generator head up. I'm going to load the L2 leg to the max. It'll show about 41 ounce at peak. Uh, at this point, the sine wave is cleaned up pretty good. Uh, at 41 amps, in this case, I should probably move the uh, curated coffee maker to another circuit that's supplied by the, the L1 leg. On grid power, a few people pay attention to this because it tends to kind of average out over the dozens of houses on the line. Uh, but when you're connecting your generator to your house, just be cognizant of how your load is distributed across the panel and make sure you, you don't run too many devices on one leg. Could cause you some problems. This is what it kind of sounded like out front of the house. And we made an Olaf. I really like this shot. We got snow on the ground, the generator's running, the dog's in our house laying under a heat lamp. Everybody's warm and full, life is good. Hey, take a second, hit the like button and subscribe. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next one.